Scarlets came into this match hoping to arrest a five-game losing streak. Although the portents for Simon Easterby's side weren't that great, with just one win in their last 11 encounters with Ospreys, their only win ever at the Liberty Stadium dated back to 2007. It was a big night for Ospreys prop Duncan Jones, making a record 200th appearance for his side. The blonde bombshell, the first man to reach that number for Ospreys. Fresh from their 10-6 win at Scarlet's last time, the home side knew a win would keep them second in the table. In truth, this game took quite a while to get going, despite the competitive nature of the local derby, but when it sprang to life, it really sprang to life, with a magnificent line break by Rhys Webb, who found fullback Sam Davies. He looked like he might be in for a spectacular try before feeding Sam Lewis, who was denied by last-ditch Scarlet's defence. But it was only a temporary respite for the visitors, and when Ashley Beck saw the gap, he went for it and dived over by the post for a try that at last gave the big home crowd something to cheer about. Great awareness from the Welsh international and reward for a super break from inside their own half. When bigger converted, Ospreys were 7-0 up. The rain was making handling and underfoot conditions difficult for both sets of players and scores were proving hard to come by. Scarlets got back to within four points on 38 minutes when Joe Beerman fouled at the line-out and Rhys Priestland's kick was good to leave it Osprey 7, Scarlets 3. But right on half-time, Osprey struck a major blow. As they laid siege to the Scarlets line, Davies spread the ball wide to Natoga on the wing, and the Fijian international dived over for his first ever Pro 12 score, and a significant one in the game, giving the home side a 12-3 lead. And that lead would be extended to 14-3 when Bigger kicked an absolutely wonderful conversion with the final act of the half. Ten minutes after the break, another Bigger penalty put Ospreys into a comfortable-looking 17 points to three lead. But Scarlet showed some metal after that. First, Priestland kicked a penalty to bring it back to 17-6. And then on 59 minutes after the Osprey scrum was penalised, he was successful with another kick at the posts. That closed the gap further to 17-9. The visitors were turning the screw. And as they applied further pressure on the Osprey's rear guard, 12 minutes from time, try-scorer Natoga was whistled for a deliberate knock-on. Nigel Owens gave the winger a yellow card for his indiscretion. No attempt. Deliberate knock on. The referee with no option but to go for the card, and Ospreys temporarily down a man. And with the extra man, Scarlets remained on the front foot. Priestland was proving reliable with the boot. In 74 minutes, he slotted that one between the posts to leave just five points between the sides. But there will be no more scoring, and Ospreys held on to do the double over their neighbours and keep their challenge for a top four finish going strong. Scarlets once again have to settle for a losing bonus and will be hoping to return to the winning habit when they face Treviso in their next Pro 12 game. Final score at the Liberty Stadium, Ospreys 17, Scarlets 12.